Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings from the Mont Saint-Michel here in northern France, an amazing place as you have seen in the introduction. Now you'd be forgiven to think that I would come to France and then talk about a French whiskey. No, this is this might be a bit weird, but I have with me a bourbon, an American whiskey, but with a Japanese twist. What is that all about? Allow me to explain. It's a special limited edition of a bourbon, actually a blend of different bourbons that were sourced at different Kentucky distilleries. And inside is bourbons that are four, five, six, and even 13 years old. It's got some multiple barley in there, wheat, uh, rye, and of course, corn. Now this is very special indeed, limited to 25,000 bottles with a special story. The master blender of the Kentucky Owl, he actually created these blends, these, these bourbon recipes, let me put it that way, and then he shipped them to Japan to uh, uh, a very young uh, uh, whiskey blender of the Nagahami distillery in the Shiga Prefecture, Japan. And he gave them and he said, I have an assignment for you. Make a bourbon that most resembles your Japanese whiskey style. Yahisa Yusuke, very, very difficult name for me to remember, but that's the name of the Japanese master blender. Yahisa Yusuke, he did this the Kaizen way. Kaizen is, is a Japanese term that's rather difficult to translate, but it would, I'd say it is searching for continuous improvement. Let me put it that way. And the, uh, the result is this Kentucky Owl, the Takumi edition. And Takumi basically means master or artisan. So, you see, this is very special indeed. Now, let's give this one a go. This is bottled at 100 proof, which basically means 50% ABV. So it's not cask strength or anything. And this was actually a gift from my good friend John from Virginia. He brought it with, whenever he comes over, he brings bottles and I keep telling him, stop doing that. I haven't got the room anymore, but he keeps doing it. And secretly, I keep uh, uh, admiring him for it. Thank you, John. The Kentucky Owl Takumi Edition, 50% ABV, beautiful deep golden color on the nose. A light caramel and summery fruit in there with a hint of freshly baked bread on a Sunday morning. I also get some tobacco leaf and even a bit of fennel in there. You could almost call this umami. This is, this is subtle. This is not a bourbon in your face. The spiciness is very subdued. It's very, very subtle indeed. And, and if at first with you might think, that, well, this is just, you know, but if you give it some time and you, and you, you actually take the, you make the effort to discover what's in there, it is actually surprisingly complex on the palate. Caramel and leather. Before some, some fresh apple pie kicks in there. Now the spiciness does develop indeed. Now I get, it doesn't dominate. In fact, again, it is quite soft. And in that sense, it is quite balanced. Indeed, quite Kaizen, if you will. Uh, again, it settles quickly. And it's softly drying towards the end. But very nice indeed. This is actually quite impressive on the finish. That finish is actually pretty long. Caramel is the first thing that I noticed. Loads of caramel. Only logical, I think. But then that is followed by sultanas and some spices again. Cinnamon mostly. I also get a bit of oak, but not oaky at all. This is quite balanced. Balanced is the word. This is quite lovely. Maybe again, like I said, a bit understated, a bit subtle, a bit Japanese maybe. But that was the whole point, wasn't it? So, yeah, this is quite different indeed, uh, uh, unique even, uh, very Japanese, like I said. Um, and, 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 and in that sense, this is a friendly, approachable, not quite out of place, even tempered and balanced bourbon. A Japanese bourbon, can we call it that? Of, obviously, everything that's in there is very much American indeed, but it was composed by a, uh, a Takumi, an artisan, a master of blending from Japan. And in that case, this is actually 
quite a stunning bottle. So a big shout out to you again, John. Thank you for uh, bringing this bottle to my attention and my house. And thank you for uh, allowing me to give this one a go. The Kentucky Owl Takumi Edition. Beautiful indeed. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling. And I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, kanpai.